That's all it takes for Huber Heights firefighters to jump into action. As fast as we're going down the street, they're trying to pull out their camera phones to take a picture. Because this is no ordinary engine. Wow, a pink fire truck. Man, they call me the fireman. That's my name. That's right, pink. Chris Williams says he wasn't personally affected by breast cancer until hearing the stories of those who were. It made us want to do something more and to show the public that we're here to protect them from this terrible disease. And the idea to paint the truck came easily. Surrounded by pink every day with having three daughters of my own. Now the truck is turning heads everywhere it goes. Say hello, pink. I thought it was really cool and I wanted to get in it. And inspiring even the youngest who come to check it out. I grow up, I'm going to be one, and, and it's really cool because I want to be a fireman when I grow up. But the color isn't all that makes the engine unique. It's a fully operational truck, normally in the reserve line, but can be used to respond to emergencies. And it's not costing taxpayers a dime. All the fuel expenses are covered through donations, and firefighters volunteer their time to get the truck to any scheduled events. Sends a bold message to our community. Logos of local businesses cover the truck, all supporting breast cancer research. That's good, because a lot of these places are patronized. So it makes me feel like, OK, I'm glad that I patronized them, because they are willing to give back to something so um, wonderful. For a $5 donation, anyone can sign showing support for the cause. It makes me proud to be a firefighter here in the city of Cuba Heights and having the ability to do something like this. So now the question is, what's in store for next year? I have several ideas in mind, and that's between Chief of 